Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Stranger Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. So last time we basically were going to see, I think his name was, was it Bake? Or something like that? Basically, he's the guy who took, he's a pirate who took over being mayor of this town after the mayor died due to the chaos or whatever. And so he lives in this cave that we're exploring now. And last time we got our butts totally kicked by a Tonberry. Again. Oh, because my party just left me behind. But yeah, so we're going to go get revenge today and continue to go search for this pirate guy. So between episodes, I did, you know, check out my jobs and my equipment and everything. I didn't, again, didn't have anything too amazing. Some of that equipment was like pretty bad. It looked like it was good because it was like big numbers, but it wasn't stuff I could actually use necessarily. Neon got some like really great equipment. She got like really upgraded. So here's how I get some better casting equipment. That was quick. I could do this all get their both down. Let's see. Making our way quickly. Aha! Dang it, how did I miss? That one didn't though. Oh, I see the water on fire? After ah, shock him. Ooh, set me on fire. Okay, I gotta back out. Let's see, can I arrow them back? Dang it, I was hoping to get the breaks. I really need some more magic. Yeah, you did a little, Jed. Let's see. Oh, I forgot I could charge my R1 attack. I wonder how hard this hits. Ooh, okay. Okay, so they're both down. The Tonberry was over this way through here. Let's see if I can arrow this. There we go. And then Quake. No, 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 don't. Oh, man, they took one of them out still. Dang it. Oh, well. At least I got one of them. Ooh, there's some stuff for Ash. Okay, here's the dangerous part. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna just focus on protect and regen, I think. And then I want to start off... Can I aim my spell in there? No, I can't aim it in there. Can I lock onto him at least? I want to quake. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that stupid Tom Barry is kind of after me. Dang it, he got me. Gotta stay behind. And of course, he paralyzed me again. Come on, come on, come on. Shoot. Oh my gosh, we got him. Ooh, level 15 gear. No wonder. He had some good drops. Holy crap. Ooh, a purple level 14 halberd. That's nice. And what's back here? Breakables. And that brings us back over... Where is... Oh, this just brings us back around. Okay. Sweet, so I can go back down this way. You know what? Just because things are a little difficult in here, let's see. So was any of that equipment actually worth something to us? Okay, handful of the blessed bracers. And even better than what I'm using. So basically, it's damage dealt at max break, water vulnerability resistance, and pierce break damage dealt. Um, I'm actually thinking... I think I'm gonna try this. See how this goes. And I'm leaving that on that one. And then what was the other one that we got some footwear and of course we can't use it. Oh well, okay. I hear guys yelling, so they should be they up around here. Yep, there he is. Oop, I thought I was on the mage. There we go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, big boom. Now watch 
There we go. Finally get some. Break him. And they took out the other guy. Is this breakable? No, not breakable. Okay. We can probably use those stalactites. Okay, so is it telling me to... How would I use it, though? Would, it, would a quake work? I wonder if a quake would work. Let's go. Quake would work. Drop him. Yes. Shatter. Smash the spider against the wall. Ooh, I thought that bat was going to do a scream thing. Did it over there. There we go, and shatter you. Is there any more? If there is, set the spider on fire. Ooh, I stepped in some web, didn't I? Yep, I stepped in some web. Still hanging in there? Okay, so we're supposed to go this way, right? I've never seen anything like this. These pirates really pretty. An odd place for their I, can't, I still feel like I should be able to break these. Cubes, over there. Should we take a breather? Okay, let's check our job tree real quick, see if we can get any upgrades. We can. So, ooh, Mage Affinity, that's always useful. And magic damage dealt to target enemy weakness, and we unlock the Black Mage. Awesome. Now the question is, do we equip the Black Mage now or later? Black Mages can use an assortment of spells to assail their enemies' weaknesses. They can cast Black Magic with R2 and have the powerful Flare spell at their disposal. Black Mage is really powerful, but the problem is I don't get the magic regeneration. But I really want to get the... I really think we're going to switch it because I want to get the Sage as soon as possible so that way I can cast both black and white magic at any time because I think that would be more beneficial. Because having to take up two job slots for both a black and a white magic, I, I think that's going to hinder us later on, so... Oh... Uh, I kind of like my mage... Yeah, I can always equip stuff later because I was like, I could always save it as a preset, but I don't have, like, the best stuff equipped, so it's not like it's, you know, that detrimental to us so let's go ahead and switch you to that Ooh, much better kite shield um ooh, that pale bandana Ooh, okay that's tough because it's not going to be better for us even though it gives us the white mage affinity it's not better i really need a better caster mask that well i don't have to have the mage affinity anymore I might actually give you the Blessed Mask too. I'm thinking that might be my best bet. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be our best bet. Um. Oh, I got a Caster Coat with white... Okay. With the white affinity, but... Hmm. I'm going to lose one magic defense point for equipping it. But I do gain... Status element accumulation, but do I? I don't think I inflict status elements with the white mage, do I? I mean, I can use my like my venom ability and everything, but I don't think I inflict status elements. I almost think I might be better off with what I have, if I'm being honest. And nope, no, those are working for what I want. I got good pants. Ooh, good footwear though, because I don't need that the affinity. So, oh, this is tough. Plus two, plus two. They both give the same. Um, you know what? Let's go for this one. And this one's a lower level, but higher affinity. Now I'm going to stay with what I got. There we go. As for her... Ooh, better broadsword, but I lose out on 9% affinity, and I kind of want her... Would that affinity make much of a difference? No, it would not, so let's actually go ahead and do that. Equip that. Keep that. Actually, is this sh no, none of the shields are better. Um, Leave that on, leave that on. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and equip these just because we need better stuff. Um, ooh, yes, good shadow boots. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna lose the three affinity for that. 
Uh, we're going to give you this pale bandana. And that pale protector's fine. Gloves are fine. Don't wear pants. Oh, I really want to keep the 50% affinity, but I'm really thinking... We almost need the higher level stuff, because we're getting pretty behind on those stats. Uh, we'll leave it for now, but it's getting to the point where we might just have to sacrifice the affinity bonus. And save. Okay. So now, let's see, we have access to Blizzard, Thunder, and Flare. But Flare actually permanently takes one of your uh, magic bars. Okay, so do we want to jump down or do we want to go through the door? Door's locked, so we're jumping down. My guess is we're going to be in for a fight, so let's actually... Always buff before you go. Shell and regen. I'm going to leave the last two magic bars. I would haste, but I want to leave the last two magic bars for me to do attack magic. And it's a coral. Curl? Curl. Uh, I think Quake would be the strongest. Yeah, because it's thunder. Ooh. Oh, dang it. I thought I was going to get to absorb it. I really want to absorb some of its spells. Come on. Quake it. Okay, Quake's not doing much, and I'm out of magic. Okay, I gotta get in there and fight. Let's see how you like your own attacks. Oh, no, 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 no. He broke me. Bad kitty. Ooh oh, no, 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 Guys, 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 get him off me. Get him off me. Probably should charge that spell. Ooh, oh gosh, that's dangerous. Oh, poor kitty. <laughs> is this a piece of lore or is this a tutorial? Nope, tutorial. Zen enemies have certain areas of their bodies that are weak to attack. For example, attacking Curl's Whisker may eventually break them, greatly reducing the creature's maximum break gauge. Tribute of your attack will also affect how easy or hard it is to break an enemy's weak spot. In the case of her curls, feelers, slashing attacks are particularly effective. Oh, okay, so you can actually break off body parts. I did not know that. Good to know for the future. Use Pyrokey to open the door. Come here, wolf. There we go. Come on, give me some magic. Here we go. And I'm actually gonna rest up at the checkpoint up there just because we took a pretty good beating from that guy. And it wasn't too bad though, I still have all my potions. Job tree, did I get any? Oh, I actually can. Uh, we wanna go the route of Oh, my Dark Knight's fun. Uh, we want to go the route of the Sage, so we want to go to the right. So we get some affinity. Awesome. We got an Anima Shard, too, but we'll, we'll hold off on that. Um, and White Mage, I'm still one point short for getting the next one. Okay, and I'm going to try to quickly run through this so that we don't have to sit here and just watch me go through all this stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, done. And just a quick look. Uh, ooh, higher level caster coat. Higher level caster coat. Ooh, what about the blessed vestment, though? Is that better for... Yeah, it's fine. Um, nope. Nope. And not better than what I have. Nope. Yeah, so we're fine on that. Um, it was the shadow bottoms of the better ones. There we go. What was that footwear? I thought I looked at all of them. Oh, I missed one. Ooh, is that worth losing the six affinity? I don't know, break down, slash, slash. Uh, no, I don't think it is. Okay, there we go. And I don't think those enemies would respawn. Yeah, it doesn't look like they respawned. Well, the wolves did, but we're not gonna fight them again. Pirate key to get through here. Come out! We have plunder! <laughs> I think that's gonna work on him. Let's see. Ah, uh, da 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 da. 
Now, ooh, ship. That boat doesn't look like it belongs here. Pirates belong anywhere? Good point. Captain Bicke must be on that ship. So is his name Bicke or Bicke? Because she calls him Bicke. Ooh, sneak up on me, will ya? Now I'm mad. <laughs> Take all their magic. Let's see what's down this path. Ooh, chest. Seriously? We can't get across? No. And no way across. I don't know if you can fall off the edge, because I was just wondering, because like, it seemed like it stopped me from falling off the edge, but I really don't want to test that theory. What's this way? More hidden stuff. Oh great, it's a bat. Oh, I hate bats. You know what, I wonder if... I'm gonna do flare. It's overkill, but I want to see what it looks like. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, that was cool looking. And I'm pretty much gonna get my magic bar back here, right? Yeah, I pretty much got it back. Ooh, what was what? Give me my magic. Didn't stand a chance. Ooh, more higher level gear. Again, though, it's not for casting classes, but it is good to have all this higher level gear or later on for whenever I want to start switching up um, jobs and everything. I keep wanting to call them classes. I mean, technically they are classes, but in this they're referred to as jobs. Ooh, yes, they're weak to electricity. Let's do that again. Okay, now we're starting to get some blessed investments and whatnots. And here's some more cubes. I'll check it out. Okay, only one point, only one point, one point. Okay, da -da 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 -da, let's do this quick. Um, wait, what did that say? Yeah, no, not worth it. Um, it's the Caster Coat category. Ooh, yes. Less vestments. Ooh, but it's it's gonna replace my pants, but I think that's okay. There we go. And then... Awesome. We'll actually go ahead and equip both of these with this, because I think that would be more beneficial. I think we should get a new sword. Quick, scanning, looking. Da, 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 da. Yep, she's good. How are you, buddy? Ooh, yes. We're good. Ooh, oh, we can actually give you something completely different. Okay, it's gonna get rid of your helmet, which is fine. But now we can give you pants. Um, you know what? We're gonna give you, and we'll give you these for now. And you can have these pants. And we'll sacrifice the 4% for much higher stats. There we go. Don't you look nice now? <laughs> Looks like an assassin now. There we go. Ooh, Samurai Sword. Katanas and Ronin. Unleash deadly attacks from Ascension Stance. Holding R1 with the Katana will cause you to enter Ascension Stance, which greatly enhances your attack power. While in Session Stance, you can change R you can chain R2 into R2, spending MP to deal tremendous damage in an instant. Ronin have access to powerful I'm gonna totally gonna butcher this, but EA Geary ability, R2. This technically does heavy break damage and can be charged to increase its power. I'm gonna have to try that. That sounds fun. Okay, let's see. Coral Lane. Okay, we'll go this way first. What's Come up on. this path? Oh, spider. Yeah, 
and steal your badge. Let's see. Okay, for you, we're gonna want to do. Would bigger fire do more? Would that yeah, that make you self-destruct faster. Oop, I didn't even notice the spiders up there. Well, spider. Okay, let's go frog. I was gonna do blizzard, but I was just like, I think this is smarter. Yeah, now we're doing a lot more damage. It's crazy how much gear can affect you in this, right? I really enjoy games though that where gear is like the main way you. Well, no. Okay, I was about to say, I like games where gear is the main way you increase your damage, but sometimes that can be a negative, because then it's like, you might not like the gear you're getting, like the looks of it, but you need to do more damage. So I guess it's kind of 50-50, but I like a lot of the outfits, the way they look in this, so, uh-oh. So not too much of a complaint. It better be. Eh, Twilight Headband. Gold. Which is only a rarity too, which again I still find weird. It seems like gold stuff should be a higher rarity. Oop, spider webs. Oh dang it, I was hoping to absorb the web. Oh well, I walked through that. It's fine. I'll recover. Ooh, big bad. Ooh, and it already spotted us, big bad. Uh Let's go attack. Shell. Regen. That's a huge headache waiting to happen. Enemy spot. Come on, guys, get them off me. I wanna do I was gonna do flare. Oh dear. Okay, get me way out of here. I'm gonna need the come on, charge, charge, charge. Come on, get these guys off of me. There we go. Get some of these guys out of the way. Come on. Dang it, where'd that skeleton come from? Come on, can I get flare off, flare off, flare off? Yes! Break this fool. Break this one. Slow down some of the enemy spawn. And break this one. And they all shatter. Oh, I didn't realize there were stalactites we could knock down in here. That probably would have helped. Oh well. We have run! Ooh, pretty. Oh, so pretty. Let's see. I think they did a really good job on the level design because there's a lot of pretty stuff. Like it looks really nice. Take a good look. Because I was a little worried after the. Ooh, some good stuff. I was a little worried after the. After the what you call it, the the. The first area, the Chaos Shrine. I was a little. What's this? Oh, it's lore. Um, I'm just gonna slowly scroll. You can pause to read that if you want. I'm not gonna read all that. Interacting with spears during a mission may earn you special books of lore, fools' missives, a series of letters and notes. Both their author and their intended recipients are a mystery. And then Lufinian reports visual records detailing information on an intricate plan. You can view them from the archives. There is a chest over there, but. Okay, I think I see it. Very thin path. Very, very thin path. Okay. Anything good? Ooh, really good stuff too. Okay. That was awesome. Okay, follow the path. Don't want to fall in the water. But anyways, what was I saying? I was saying something. I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh, I was a little worried after the Chaos Shrine that it was going to be like, where is it all going to be like dark, dungeon-y looking stuff? But I really like the fact that it's like, there's lots of different areas with like different colors and different mechanics and everything. They, they did a good job of adding variety to it. 
But on that note, we're going to go ahead and call this part here. Next time we'll continue on our way to find the pirate that, you know, resides in this cave system or whatever. And yeah, hopefully we'll continue to get better gear because like I said, we've been getting pretty bad luck on like the stats and the, the affinity bonuses. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!